Perfect. All right. Thanks, Sonia. Doing good. It's a little cold here today. It's kind of, I guess we're finally getting um, winter. The leaves are going to start dropping and the grass is going to go brown. We don't have to mow anymore. <laughs> December. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I wanted to show y'all this super cute little um, gift box that I made using the mini pizza box and then also this absolutely adorable Be Merry kit. Um, you can find these in the holiday catalog. And um, to be quite honest, I've had this, this Be Merry kit for, you know, for a while. And I was a little intimidated putting, uh, you know, looking at it. This thing is the easiest thing to put together. And so what I did is I just um, attached it to the top of this box. So when the person, and this is, I put a little gift card in here. So this is like a little gift card holder. So um, once they open up their gift, uh, they can um, unattach this rosette and then it can now become a Christmas ornament. So it's kind of like two gifts in one. But I thought that I would show you how to make this, um, this rosette. It's super simple. If you haven't gotten this kit yet, guys, I, I highly recommend it. There's not many kits that I just am like just wowed over, but this one is just absolutely beautiful in person. I hope, hopefully it will um, come across that way um, on camera. And then what I did is I just um, added just a little bit of the, um, is it Year of Cheer? Yeah, the Year of Cheer designer series paper just to the top and to the three sides of the little mini pizza box just to give it just a little bit of um, detail. But um, I'm going to give you some tips on how to put this rosette together, um, what I found to be uh, helpful. So um, I'm going to get that started because that's the thing that takes the longest. And um, there's two designs. So there's the Christmas tree and then the other one is the candy cane. So I'm going to put the candy cane one together um, on the iStampin' Live video. And if y'all have any questions about anything, um, just write it in the comment box. And then um, before I sign off, I'll just go back and um, see if there's any questions. And I think I've got two together right here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is to get out one of the rosettes and either get out the Christmas tree or the candy cane. So I'm going to do the candy cane here. And then you're going to get nine of the tool pieces. And these are sticking together. I thought I had already separated these, but I can tell you can tell when they're when they're doubled up because they almost look solid. They're a lot darker than just the single pieces. So one, two, three, and two. all of these. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I just need two more. So you're gonna need nine pieces total. And Sometimes these are a little hard to, to separate, and I thought I had already done this. Come on, oh, there we go. There we go, so we got nine. And um, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. The first tip that I would recommend doing is um, you're gonna get ribbon, this cotton ribbon. You, you're gonna get red and this old olive. I would recommend ironing all these pieces. Um, I went ahead and did that with the red and this green piece they're really wrinkled um, when they come out of the little baggie so it took two seconds just to iron this I think the the results are a lot nicer especially if you're going to use this as a Christmas ornament um, I tried tying it before when it was all wrinkled and it just didn't look nice so go ahead and um, just uh, take your iron you know on cotton setting and just uh, iron all those pieces okay the other thing is is to have a glue gun. I'm the great thing about this um, this project is I'm pretty much going to be using a hot glue gun to put everything together. So I'm not using a whole lot of different adhesive except for the little banner piece. So we're going to go ahead and do that just so that it can um, set up while we're making everything else. And in your kit, you're going to get um, Mary in two different colors. So I did the red Mary for the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna do the green Mary for the candy cane. So you're just gonna gently just remove it from the little die cut sheet. And 
I kind of took that out a little rough. And then you're going to use your fine tip glue pen um, to adhere this. And the, the lower part of the Y, I don't know exactly what they call that technical part of the letter, but anyway, that's going to hang off the wood piece so you don't have to put any glue there. So I'm just putting small little dots on that. And then with the glue, you can kind of shift it around since it's wet. So there we go. So we can just put that off to the side to let it set up. And guys, when I tell you how easy this little rosette thing is, look at this. <laughs> I mean, Stampin' Up! did it already for us. All we have to do is just take off this little bit of... Um, the carrier sheet from the tape or the protective tape cover whatever I'm trying to say and put it together like this I mean how easy is that it can't get any simpler than that and I love rosettes I wish I could find these all the time <laughs> how simple was that Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to start doing is putting the tool in between the little peaks. And you're going to need nine pieces, and I'm using the red. And we're going to do it in every other spot. So um, this is where it's really easy. This is where the uh, your glue gun comes in super handy. And so what the directions say is to start... Um, one spot from where we just adhered the um, the rosette together. So you've got these two little valleys right here. We're going to actually start right there. And what you want to do is just um, gather the tool in the center and just just kind of like, you know, just gather it from the bottom right there. And you're just going to put just a little bit of hot glue right here in the middle and then you're just going to kind of just shove it in there and we can clean it up um, you know all the little glue pieces that are probably going to be there we can clean it all up at the when, once we get this all done and so you're just going to go and do that for every other uh, section and I'm learning how, I'm, I need to go get another glue glue stick real quick let me go get that real quick okay sucker's hot I've had it on for a little while okay so how's everybody's Christmas shopping coming along I still don't have my Christmas tree up my kids were asking about that the other, last night. I guess I got to do that this weekend. Usually it's always been me to put it up. I just want the kids to help out now, which I think they're finally interested in helping out. So, oh, while I'm doing this, if y'all are um, looking for some great gift ideas, you know, for, for yourself um, or for uh, friends or family who, who like to craft. Um, well, I do gift certificates. So if you are interested in, you know, getting some gift certificates for friends or even for yourself, you can let your uh, uh, family know. They can reach out to me if, they, if you just give them my email address and just say that they want, um, sorry about the phone ringing, um, that they want a gift card, I can uh, reach out to them. That's just through me. I'm not sure why we have a home phone anymore. All we get are telemarketer calls or robo political calls. Um, then the other thing is uh, in the front of the catalog, there's those all-inclusive kits. There's the Oh Happy Day and Soft Sayings. Those make 
fabulous uh, last minute gifts or they don't even have to be last minute they can just be your Christmas gifts um, everything comes in there so it's the ink the stamp pad the stamp set um, all of it is in there and the great thing is is it comes in in a really cute box and all you have to do is just put a uh, you know, you could put one of these on top of there and a, and a gift tag and you're all done. I mean, there's no wrapping involved. Okay, so there is the rosette. I know that doesn't look all that pretty right yet, right now. But the great thing is, is we're going to hide all of this with this cute little doily. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and just put in some glue right here in the center of this. Now this does get hot. So just be careful when you put this down. Hi, Emily. <laughs> no tree shopping not done for you either, Tammy. Okay, good. I'm not the only one. I'm just, you know, it's my husband's birthday is always right around Thanksgiving. Our wedding anniversary was two days ago, so it's just, we've got kind of a lot of crazy things leading up to Christmas, but that's no excuse. I'm just lazy. It has, there's nothing else about it. I'll, I'll admit it. I'm just lazy. Okay, so for the candy cane, I punched out all those little pieces, and then what you will do is just um, get out one of the red glimmer uh, pieces. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And then again, I'm just going to use my glue gun and just put glue just around the edge of where that's going to go. And just make sure that you've got it all stuck on there. And then the other most important thing is when you're putting this part on that you have the top of your ornament. Um, at, at the top so that you have it the right way because you don't want to put you don't want to do it this way and then your ornaments going to be sideways okay and so now we will just stick some more glue in the center and that's just going to go right there I mean guys Whoops, and here I'm telling you, don't do what I just did. That's the great thing about hot glue, is that it's still a little wet. I mean, these these things are so easy to put together. I mean, we're talking minutes. And then that Mary is going to go right there. And for this, you will use dimensionals. Now, you can use um, the regular size dimensionals, or you can even use the mini dimensionals. I'm just going to use the regular size and I'm going to put three on there. I've got glue all over my fingers. <laughs> it's sticking to this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's too funny. Okay. All right. So then just remove the backing. Okay, so I think I'm done with what I was saying about the kits. So it's the Soft Sayings and the um, and the Oh Happy Day. So you can find those at the at the beginning of the catalog, and those make excellent Christmas gifts. Oops. Okay, I'm put a little bit more on there. I think when I shifted it around, it loosened up the the glue or something. Okay, so now that's good and stuck. And then the nice thing is, is that we get these really, uh, Stampin' Up! gives us these little white pieces to put on the back of the rosette to finish it off. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back side and just stick that on there. And so there is that rosette. So you can see the, the Christmas tree and the candy cane. 
just so cute. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I put the pizza box together. And what I've done here is I have cut um, from the Year of Cheer Designer Series paper. This is the Buffalo plaid that is in gold foil and white. And I've cut a piece of, um, I've cut one piece three and three eighths by three and three eighths. This is going to go on the top of the box. And then I've cut three pieces that are three and three eighths by seven eighths. And that's going to go on the three sides. So I'm going to show you how to put this pizza box together if you haven't um, done one of these yet or haven't seen them. Uh, they're just so cute really easy to put together and these are food safe so if you wanted to put little treats in there you can do that so we're just going to just get that those little notches and they're good and then the other thing that I would recommend is whatever you're gonna put in here um, I would do that first uh, before you put the rosette on. So you wanna kinda of have everything that is gonna uh, be in here done before you put, uh, like I said, put the rosette on. And you kinda of have to manipulate them. You know, once you get it all together, you can kinda of bend the sides and the lid just to make where it just fits just a little bit better together. To see how it kind of bows out right there so what I like to do is just kind of just press it together and eventually it, it looks a little bit better but if that doesn't bother you then you don't even have to worry about that let me show you on the inside of this one you see this cute little um, shreddy paper this is something new that you're gonna see in our occasions catalog um, in uh, the new year so uh, just a little just a little peek of something new coming. And um, y'all should start receiving, if you're one of my preferred customers, y'all should start receiving the occasions and the celebration, um, well, the occasions catalog and the celebration brochure. Um, probably, I think they start shipping out mid, mid December, so probably around Christmas time. And then, um, the other thing y'all will be getting a little Christmas. Okay, sorry about sorry about that. Hopefully I'm back live. Somebody was calling me, so I had to quickly hang up on them or decline the phone call. Just had to get my iPad screen back up. Okay, and then uh, so I put that right on top, and then I'm just going to put these little pieces right here on the side. And all of the information that I am using today, that will be up on um, a blog post later today and uh, the, an edited video. So um, if you want to watch this again, you don't have to watch it on Facebook. So that's just going to go right here. And if you want to put it on the back, you can. I just did the, 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 the top and the three sides just because I was able to get um, two boxes out of one strip. So when you cut the three, the three by three and three eighths by three and three eighths, you actually can get six side pieces and two of these square pieces so that you can do two boxes. So I was just trying to save paper. And then because I want um, my gift, uh, the person who I'm giving this to be able to use this, I'm just gonna put just a little bit of snail on the top and then just stick that down. And so when they remove it, um, it won't, you know, it won't fall apart. You saw the sets with the dragons. Oh, Tammy, it's adorable. I didn't get that one. I'm going to get that a little bit later. I spent so much money on my pre-order that I had to say, um, I had to give, you know, something, I had to put something off or whatever I'm trying to say, you know, 
I couldn't get everything, but I am getting that um, it come January. It's adorable. And y'all are going to love the Celebration Catalog. It's They've got some really neat stuff in there this year. Hey, Helen, how are you this morning? Okay, let's see here. So I hope y'all like today's project. What do you think? What do you, do you like it? Just so cute. Oh, I didn't put the, I thought something looked different. I didn't put the ribbon on here. So let me tie the ribbon. It's like something just doesn't seem right. Okay. And this ribbon's really nice. They give you so much. You can make bigger bows if you want. Okay, hold on, something's not right. Let me try this again. Okay, there we go, that's better. Okay. So again, I'm just going to use hot glue and just stick that right up there. Whoops. I think I got too big of a blob. I'll have to clean that up. I got a little bit of glue right there on the front of the knot. But anyway, I can clean that up. And then just come in with your ribbon scissors and just uh, cut off the tails. There we go. All right, now, now we're done. <laughs> so what do y'all think? Is that just absolutely precious or what? How would y'all like to receive a gift um, with those rosettes on there? Oh, thank you so much, Tammy. So this is the Be Merry kit, and like I said, ladies, if y'all have not picked this up, I highly recommend it. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is uh, the last day to guarantee um, shipping before Christmas through Stampin' Up! So if you are wanting to get some Christmas gifts, it's December 14th, so that's next week. So... Um, I think that's next Thursday. So we've just got you know less than a week before um, the that Stampin' Up can't guarantee getting it before Christmas. So if you would like to um, make some of these cute things, uh, you just want to get the Be Merry kit and these cute little mini pizza boxes. I think you get um, you get eight of these, and the rosettes I want to say are. Um, how many do you get of these? You get 12. So you'll be able to make um, six of each. Six of the Christmas trees and six of the um, candy canes. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions over anything else today, just comment below or head on over to my blog and um, I will be uh, available to answer any questions. Thanks so much for joining me again on my iStampin' Live, and I will see you next week for another iStampin' Live. Bye, guys.